Hey folks, this is Brad with PCMuck.com and today we're just going to show you how you can look at the contents of an ISO file as well as how you can uh, burn it. Uh, it's actually really easy. So um, once you have an ISO file download on your computer, um, I actually have this right here. Uh, normally you can uh, right click it and mount it to view its files, but I have I use a program called 7-Zip. Uh, which lets me view the files here. Uh, so basically, uh, there'll either be a open button with your uh, program or a mount button to mount onto uh, Windows 10, and it'll it'll uh, by default let you look at the contents. But I use a program called 7-Zip, uh, which is uh, basically a free zipping program. Uh, it's definitely recommended, and uh, it lets you uh, view the contents of uh, the ISO file. Uh, so if there's something specific you're looking for or uh, you're just looking to put the files uh, in a separate folder somewhere, uh, you can do that with that. Uh, but if you want to burn it, uh, it's a little different. Uh, the neat thing is Windows 10 actually has a built-in way to do that. Um, I, Windows 8 does as well, um, but Windows 7 and before you had to have a third-party program to do that. So. Uh, see so if we go in to desktop and look at it uh, in the file explorer here uh, you can just click this little share button and press uh, burn to disk <clears throat> uh, I don't have a disk in uh, so it's not going to take us through the wizard and that would also take a quite a long time with the uh, size of it so uh, basically it's just clicking that button and it'll guide you through the process but most of the time it's actually just going to be sitting there working uh, and as you're doing that uh, usually it's best to just let it do its thing instead of uh, messing around with other programs on the computer but uh, it can take anywhere from a couple minutes to uh, sometimes a couple hours depending on uh, the size of the file but yeah that's uh, really all there is to it uh, we also have a uh, companion guide to go, go with this video um, a lot more in depth uh, takes you through all the steps uh, we've got photos step-by-step -step photos in there as well uh, so be sure to take a look at that we'll leave a uh, link in the description below and uh, yeah that's all there is to it uh, once again I've been Brad with PCMac.com and until next time